the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, the Taipei 101 in Taiwan, the Shanghai Tower in China. All these giant skyscrapers would have been doomed to collapse if their designers had not found an effective solution to one specific problem. As these buildings get taller and taller, the winds, especially strong winds, can cause a lot of difficulties. The solution found by the designers is a large and heavy ball. But how can a giant heavy ball make the building resist the strong forces of nature? Building giant skyscrapers is not just about taking an old project and adding more floors. It requires a new project, new design, and cutting-edge technology. In fact, the challenges of building tall buildings often require designers to rewrite the engineering books. The Taipei 101 is not just a beautiful building located in Taiwan. It is a true engineering marvel with a construction cost of nearly $2 billion, an area of 412,500 square meters, a height of 508 meters, and 100 floors. However, it's not these numbers that make this building such an icon, but the fact that it was built to withstand earthquakes of magnitude 7 on the Richter scale and to resist winds of more than 280 miles per hour, or 450 kilometers per hour. To achieve this, the designers of the Taipei 101 had to design a large, heavy golden ball with a diameter of 5.5 meters and a weight of 660 tons, the same weight as two Airbus's A380, the largest passenger plane in the world. This ball, made up of 41 layers of steel plates, each 4.9 inches thick, was placed inside the 87th to the 92nd floor, extending over five floors and suspended by 16 gigantic steel cables. This ball, called a tuned mass damper, has one purpose, to counteract the dynamic effects caused by wind or seismic activity and prevent excessive building displacements that could compromise its structural integrity. It makes use of a property that all objects have, inertia. If something is stationary, it wants to stay stationary. If something is in motion, it wants to continue moving. The desire of an object to continue in the state it is in is called inertia. In skyscrapers, which are very tall buildings, the top of the building tends to be more susceptible to oscillations caused by the action of the winds in relation to its base, which is fixed. This imperceptible displacement is completely normal and is already taken into account during the building design process, which ensures the physical integrity of the building and prevents the risk of rupture. If it did not give in to these oscillations, they could reach one meter of horizontal displacement, posing a risk to the building. Even though these oscillations are taken into account, there are limits. In the case of a big storm, very strong winds acting on the skyscraper can dangerously increase oscillations causing a horizontal displacement of more than three meters at the top of the building. The stronger the wind, the greater the amplitude and frequency of the oscillations, which could compromise the main structure, leading to potential collapses. This is where the mass dampers come into play. When the building begins to move and oscillate under strong winds, the enormous and heavy ball counteracts this movement. That is, the ball moves in the opposite direction to the movement of the building, offering great resistance to the oscillations caused by strong winds, which significantly reduces the violence of the movement. To prevent the ball from moving too much, and especially to prevent it from colliding with the building during oscillations, a series of dampers filled with oil are responsible for damping the oscillations of the ball and carry with them the energy absorbed during the deceleration of the wind-induced movements in the building. It's incredibly simple, but very ingenious. It didn't take long for a series of storms and earthquakes to put the gigantic ball to the test. In early August 2015, the Sudalor tropical storm, which passed through Taiwan with winds of more than 130 miles per hour, or 210 kilometers per hour, hit the Taipei 101. However, the gigantic tuned mass damper efficiently nullified the destructive effects of the storm on the building. The gigantic heavy $4 million ball kept the building stable and impact free. The tuned mass damper in Taipei 101 is composed of three main parts, 
an oscillating mass, in this case, the ball itself, a set of dampers to absorb and dampen the force of the ball's oscillations, and the viscous damper, which is a fluid, usually oil, that goes inside the dampers and helps in the process of dissipating the forces. But it's not just the Taipei 101 that makes use of this gigantic ball, the Shanghai World Financial Center in China, the Princess Tower in Dubai, the Trump Tower in the United States, the Shanghai Tower in Shanghai, the Almas Tower in Dubai, and many other skyscrapers around the world also use this damping system. And you wouldn't be surprised to know that the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, the current tallest building in the world, with its height of 828 meters, also has its own ball to dampen violent wind oscillations, right? But surprisingly, it doesn't. The engineers were smarter and took a step forward with a design that would make the building itself act as a damping system. It could be said that the aerodynamic design of the Burj Khalifa confuses the wind and drastically reduces the oscillations in the building, keeping it stable. Various tests in wind tunnels were carried out to prove the efficiency of the design and to ensure that the wind phenomenon called vortex shedding did not occur with the building structure. Since the Burj Khalifa is wide at the base but very narrow at the top, it would not be possible to install a huge tuned mass damper. The luxurious Burj Al Arab Hotel in Dubai also has an ingenious mass damper system. But instead of a ball, about four huge weights are used, suspended at specific points of the huge structures called exoskeletons. When the wind hits the structure and the vortex shedding phenomenon begins to occur, instead of the structure vibrating, the five-ton suspended weights begin to move, canceling the vibrations and keeping the structure stable. Another solution often used to avoid oscillations is to create large free spans in certain parts of the building, allowing the wind to pass freely through these openings, thus relieving the pressure exerted by the wind on the structure. This solution was implemented in several buildings, including the World Financial Center and also the iconic 432 Park Avenue in New York. In addition to mass dampers, some buildings even use water in large pools at the top of the building to cancel out oscillations. And these were some of the solutions found by skyscraper designers to keep them stable, comfortable, and especially safe while facing the great storms brought by Mother Nature. If you enjoyed this episode of Engineering Secrets, consider subscribing and helping our channel through our Patreon or cryptocurrency donations. We try our best to bring high-quality videos for you. All the links are in the description. Thank you for watching.